How's it going guys? My name is Dom and welcome to your first video in a series where we're going to be comparing the differences between jQuery and vanilla JavaScript. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the selection of HTML elements. Okay, so before we get into this jQuery example and what it's actually doing, let's go inside the HTML right here. So we can see I've got this div with an ID of my div. Then of course inside here, I've got three individual anchor or link tags. Okay, so going inside uh, once again, this jQuery example on the first line, as we can see, we are simply selecting the div with an ID of my div. Then of course on the second line, we're selecting each individual anchor tag or link from within that div. So what's actually happening right here? Well, of course we are selecting the elements, but we're actually retrieving from here. This is actually giving us a jQuery object which behaves similar to an array. Okay, so I'll repeat that. This right here is simply wrapping. Okay, it is wrapping your elements inside an object, which of course you can then, uh, you know, manipulate and do things on, such as your add class and your, you know, CSS or whatever it might be. It is simply wrapping the elements inside an object. Okay, so to further demonstrate this, let's go inside the browser and call these two jQuery functions. So going inside the browser right here in the console, let's, like I said, call the hash my div. As we can see, as a result of this call, we are simply getting back a jQuery object which contains at index zero the div itself. Okay, so from there, we can of course call things like, you know, add class or whatever it might be, okay? We can call them and we can see them right inside here. As we can see, we get each one of our jQuery methods right there. So that is what you're doing with jQuery. You're simply selecting the elements and then of course it is being wrapped inside this object. Now, what if I was to call right inside here, um, if I just get rid of this, what if I was to call uh, my div and then a just like this now we get the exact same thing but we get instead the three anchor tags inside this list okay so that is jquery right there and how does this compare to vanilla javascript well let's go back inside here and take a look so we can see here on the first line we are doing the exact same thing we are selecting the single div right there with an id of my div and we are using the same selector as we did in the previous jQuery example. So right here, I'm using document.query selector. And like I said, it's going to give me the single div itself. Now, this div right here is the actual div. So it is the raw HTML element. Okay, whereas in the jQuery example, this one wraps around this thing right here. Okay, so that's that one. In the second example, I'm using query selector all, and the all version of this allows me to select multiple elements which match this selector. In this case, my div and then a. And this result right here is an array-like structure called a node list, which you can use uh, in a very similar way to an array. So let's have a look at this example right here in the browser. So Going inside the browser once again, if I call document.query selector, then pass in right here my div. In this case, like I said, we get the actual div right there. Okay, now what if I was to call query selector all? In this case, we get each individual anchor tag right here inside this node list, which, like I said, is very similar to an array. Okay, so to put it simply, jQuery is going to wrap your elements in an object, which of course you can then call methods on, like add class, etc., change click, and vanilla JS is going to get the actual elements directly. Now, of course, with this node list, you can't call the jQuery methods. It's not going to work. It isn't jQuery. So that is why it exists. Now, of course, the reason for showing these two examples is because sometimes you don't need to use jQuery for very simple and minor tasks, okay? So, of course, sometimes this vanilla JS version is gonna be perfectly fine to use. Now, how do I access the regular HTML elements just like this using jQuery? 
Well, let's once again select each one of our individual anchor tags right here using jQuery, just like this. As we can see, we have these indexes. So, I can simply say my div a, then I can say at index 0 to grab the first one. If I press enter, we get the actual anchor tag right here. This is the exact same thing as saying query selector all just like this and then saying index zero. You get the exact same reference to the exact same element right there. So that is the difference between jQuery and vanilla JavaScript when it comes to selecting elements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.